Hey everyone, welcome to the video for the install of Pinball Emporium version 3, which the big update here is that we are bringing in uh, VFX tables. So let's take a look at the README really quick. If you have the, any questions or want to join our Pinball Throwdown uh, weekly games, head over to the Discord server. We're all hanging out there. I'm hanging out there as much as I can to answer any questions to get make sure your Pinball Emporium is uh, up and running well. Like I said, the big added update here is the Visual Pinball X tables. We added 97 tables, which are just uh, great tables to take a look at and you know are probably the best tables that are out there right now that are available to anyone for free. Um, the other big addition here is that we've completely revamped our media for the front end UI. We created all new videos uh, for the background tables. Uh, Elgato 5 helped me out a lot with this by doing 100 of those for me, a little more than that actually. So make sure you give him a shout out on the Discord because he really took off, took that weight off. You know, these weren't hard to do, but man, did they take a while to do. The other thing that you're going to see shortly is that we did a simplified install, which really kind of streamlines the install pinball emporium and hopefully makes it very, you know, you're not going to install things in the wrong area. It's kind of very manually before, and we've kind of taken that out of it. And then finally, the other one is that we've uh, changed the cabinet and desktop files on depending on how you're playing this version has a big uh, push on using a second display for back glass so we've kind of taken uh, uh, that into consideration when making these files so let's jump into the install um, just like always if you're ha whenever you're extracting this or running it for the first time there's a good chance you're going to get a notification from the the Steam API file that for some reason keeps uh, affecting uh, the install. So just make sure if you see this error to allow it. Otherwise, uh, FX Table Two, uh, yeah, FX Table Two tables will will not work. As far as display orientation, if you're setting up a back glass, you need to have your monitor set up like this. We're running them both in landscape, and the software will do the work on the back end. Make sure that your scale is set to 100% for both of these. My default for number two was actually 150, so that was something I had to change. And if you are running cabinet mode and your play field is upside down, the way you're going to fix it is by this display orientation. You're going to change this from landscape to landscape flipped, and that will rotate you, and then all the software will work properly. All right, that's it. Let's jump into the install. So we're going to head over to the first time install folder and simply press the install bat. Really, you know, watch this video, but um, all the directions are written out here. So just follow along and you should have everything to take care of. So have you downloaded, installed, and logged into Steam? I've already done this. Although this is a fresh install of Windows, I have done this video about a dozen times now. So I've installed this over and over again. So I've already done this step. So I've installed, I've logged into Steam. So click any button to continue. Have you downloaded, installed, and ran Pinball FX3? I have done that. FX3 is a free program that you can download from Steam. So just uh, get that installed and run it at least once. Once you run it, you can actually delete the program. You don't need it anymore. All right. Ready to install Future Pinball and BAM. Yes, we are. When prompted, install it into the emulators folder. You're going to see in mine that mine is already set up like this. That's because I've installed this, like I said, almost a dozen times now. Uh, yours is going to say the program fo uh, folder. So just get that changed to the emulator folder. All right. We're going to accept. We're going to accept. Like I said, if you're following along, this probably says C program files. Make sure this is just changed to the emulator folder. So it looks something like this. And next, we're gonna do a standard install. Next. Now, when I first installed this, I did get a error when I ran, the, when I continued on to the next step. To fix that, all you need to do is later to, is to rerun the BAM install. 
I'm not sure why this happened, and I'm not sure why simply running it again fixed it. So, but I know it did. To do that, we're just going to go to the install assets into FP, and you're going to run the setup one more time, and then run this uh, bat file. All right, so we finished. We're going to continue. Are we ready to run future pinball? Yes, we are. Once table runs, exit the table and exit future pinball. All right, I'm going to turn off my audio because last time I got a takedown notice over the audio used here. Well, now you can hear it in my microphone probably. So right now mine is set up this way. You probably will not see stuff in your back glass and this will probably be windowed. And like I said, that's only because I've run this program before. So you will most likely have a windowed version of that. So don't worry if it looks slightly different because actually in the next step where you're going to fix that. All right, we're going to do some registry edits. We're going to continue. All right, future pinball is done. We're ready to install visual pinball X. Same thing as future pinball when prompted install into the emulator folder. All right, during the install, it's gonna ask you about your back glass. Click yes to set up your back glass. And also DirectX is gonna want you to install a Bing toolbar and nobody wants that thing. So just make sure you uncheck it. All right, I accept. Do not install the toolbar. And again, if you're ever having trouble running Pinball Emporium, feel free to run this install file again. <clears throat> it's not gonna hurt to install over and over again as I've proven here. And like I said, this is probably my 12th time doing this video. I've noticed little changes I've wanted to tweak and so it doesn't hurt to keep running this file. It also kind of brings everything back down to the default. All right, so I'm setting up my second screen. Uh, you can see in the bottom right-hand corner my second screen, so if I actually move this over, oh, I guess you can't really see that, but I forgot I'm only on a single screen right now. But you can see the back glass. All right, we're gonna hit and continue. All right, same thing like VPX, we're gonna run it once to get everything situated. And then we're just gonna exit. Okay, everything is running. We're gonna Alt F4, Alt F4 again to get out of there. We're gonna hit continue, do some registry edits. And hit okay, that's it, we're ready to go. We're gonna head back into here, we're gonna set up our display mode. Now I run in cabinet, but for here, I'm gonna show you guys uh, it in desktop mode, just cause that looks a little bit better on YouTube. So I'm gonna to go to desktop mode and I'm running a 1920, oh, I did that wrong, a 1080 back glass. All right, and now we're ready to run Pinball Emporium for the first time. Uh, you guys get to check out the new intro video. And there we go. So we have all our tables, we have favorites. If you want to add favorites, you're gonna see my favorites in here. Just ones I've done so far. Uh, using the C and D control, uh, we will be able to add and remove favorites. Actually, before we go any further, I want to remind people about Joy to Key. So I'm gonna activate Joy to Key right now. That lives in this folder. So, We've mapped these buttons to an eight button cabinet layout. If you'd like to change it from what you see here, but this has kind of been our, uh, this is how everything in the UI, FX2, FX3, Future Pinball, and VPX tables are mapped. So if you want to just work 
I would definitely set up something similar to this if you want to kind of the uh, the hold buttons that the which is the long buttons you can feel free to change those but um, I would try to keep everything else similar to these button layouts because everything's already done for you that way trash that and then if you'd like to make the shortcut you're gonna simply just let this be wherever you have uh, wherever your pinball emporium is located okay so let's jump into pinball emporium So again, we have all tables, our favorites. I combined FX2 and 3 because there was only, I think, 12 missing tables from FX3 in there. So those are now in here. Our future pinball tables. Oh, come on, you can go. Which I believe there are now 69 of these tables on here. And then our new visual pinball tables, which there are 97 tables on here. Um, and like, like I said, as you can see in the background, we, you know, we have this nice new unified video for every table. You kind of get a preview of the table. This obviously looks a little bit better when you're in a cabinet mode because it's kind of, you know, in the same placement as how you would be playing. So, but we have a lot of great tables on here. Definitely check them out. So. You know, as we jump in here, here, let's go over to, you know, Beverly Hills Cop. And so as you can see, we're in desktop mode here. We can start playing, we can add coins, we can start the game. But, if we exit out of here. Head into the, our display mode. We're now in a cabinet with a 1080 back glass. And now when we head back in here, you can see we got a different video made for the cabinet mode. We now have a vertical scroller. So if I head over there, then let's go back into Beverly Hills Cop. And now you can see we're in cabinet mode. So very simple to kind of switch between cabinet and desktop and your different size back glass. Now I've only set up three different kinds of back glass in here, a 1920 by 1080, a 1600 by 900, and a 1280 by 720. It's not too hard to add additional sizes. You can do it manually. We can also uh, build some files to do that. It's in this auto change here. And so these are the three sizes I knew about. I know some people probably use some other sizes, but to make every, you know, to make every needed size, it's gonna take forever. But if there's a big uh, outcry for a certain uh, resolution, feel free to hit me in the Discord and I could probably get something updated or at least give you the idea of, you know, how to get everything, get everything you need to uh, make your own. So that's it guys, Pinball Emporium version three, adding VPX tables. Very easy to install now compared to the old versions. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you have any uh, problems. Feel free to comment on this video. If you want a little faster response, find me on the Discord on our server. Uh, that, like I said, that's where I hang out. That's where we have little competitions. That's where we chat about other pinball stuff. You should definitely come over there and hang out. It's a lot of fun. So enjoy Pinball Emporium and uh, let me know what you guys think. Take care.